One of the things that we have done as we've been quarantined was we did a whole week worth of themed dinner nights. The whole family dressed up as a certain type of person. One night was the ballet, so we all wore tutus, and another night was hippie night, and another night was punk night. It was brought us together as, as a family. I'm pretty proud of my kids that during this time home, we actually got a guinea pig, and they've been proven to be really responsible moms to it. A mom win that I have is I have a daughter who's in middle school and we've been getting along really great. And there's typically drama that comes along with middle school. Well, it seems like that drama is left at middle school and it's not at home. I couldn't be more thankful that uh, we're getting along so well. I have a son with autism and he just can't seem to understand why he can't go to his favorite places and see his favorite people. Uh, it just can be really devastating and really, really difficult for him. It's challenging because I never thought that I could get work done and homeschool my son. But it's been eye-opening because I've been able to see how he does his schoolwork and how much he's progressing. My middle son is, um behind in his speech and before the pandemic happened he would have one-on-one -on -one sessions with a, a speech therapist and i'm not a trained speech therapist so i'm doing the best that i can i haven't been able to generate as much income um so that's been uh, a little bit of a bummer with that extra screen time my nine-year-old daughter has picked up some new sayings so at bath time and when it's time to get dressed, her new favorite thing to say is my body, my choice. Having to take calls from my laundry room because all of my kids are on Zoom calls in the kitchen, the living room, or bedroom. So people will always ask me, um, are you in your laundry room or pantry room? And I'm like, yes. I spent two, the two months leading up to quarantine uh, fixing up my she shed. Um, I work at home, so I needed a place to have um, some quiet and a home office. Quarantine came, and now my parents are living in my she shed. I actually took a quarantine vacation. Um, there was a time where things were just so heavy, and the way that I felt to deal with self-care was to just disconnect from everything. There were no, there's no social media. There were no online, um, you know, conference calls. Just completely unplugged. We all are constantly working and feeling like it's going directly into the weekend, and really doing the same thing on the weekends, continuing to disconnect and just enjoy the space. I've been really fortunate during this time home to really get time to myself every day to work out and make it a priority every day to hit the home gym and take care of myself. Hot baths. Um, I also like a little sack of wine, so that's also an option. <laughs> One thing that I've discovered about myself through this pandemic is that I love chaos. <laughs> I, I love the stress of going to events. I love the stress of putting events on. I, I love the stress of and chaos of just people and need, people who need me to do things. I just, I just love it. I am more of a homebody than I thought I was. I'm always on the road, always at meetings, always with people. I'm really just enjoying these like quiet, precious moments with my children. I've discovered that I'm a lot stronger than I probably originally thought. And I'm a little bit better at parenting than I probably give myself credit for. I am a soccer mom and, and I'm doing the best that I can. I didn't realize how much I appreciate my kids' teachers, caretakers, and nurses and doctors around the world that are keeping us safe. No matter what I'm facing now, I will prevail. We've got this. We've got this. We've got this. We've got this.